problem is the situation hasn't changed. We still get the same kind of calls, we still the same kind of problems that landed at uh, our door, uh, people being stopped, uh, the escalation. <laughs> A year after the murder of George Floyd sparked a racial awakening, including protests here on the streets of Montreal, activists on the front line of social justice say the pace of change is very slow in Quebec because leaders still deny the existence of systemic racism. You have to understand that's what it is and finally recognize it. If we can, if we continue going this way and then uh, you're treating it as a matter of fact, then nothing is going to change. While Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante has said she recognized systemic racism existed and vowed changes, the Quebec government has refused to accept it, only saying that racist acts exist and racist individuals. I think that there is some discrimination in Quebec, but there's no systemic discrimination. There's no system in Quebec of discrimination, and it's a very, very small minority of the people that are doing some discrimination. The Centre for Research Action on Race Relations has been at the heart of Montreal's fight for racial justice for nearly 40 years. Co-founder and executive director Phony Emmy and his small team, including lawyer René Saint-Léger, provide support and counsel to racialized communities, especially members of the black community, who say they've been discriminated against in thousands of racial profiling cases. They say calls for police reform have intensified in the wake of Floyd's murder. The one thing I believe, George Floyd's case, is the fact that people can now film and the police need to have their body cam. But that is going to reduce the, uh, the amount of, 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 of abuse that can be done on such a regular basis. The words Black Lives Matter, La Vie des Noirs Comte, painted in big bright letters across the iconic St. Catherine Street in downtown Montreal last summer. The mayor publicly supporting the movement, but activists say the city has yet to take real action. Montreal has yet to approve body cameras for their police force, although the Quebec government launched a pilot project with provincial police at the end of April. Lack of transparency has led to a rise of more people within the marginalized communities using dash cameras and record incidents live as a way to protect themselves. People have to understand that they have to assert also their right to first class and full citizenship. And above, above it all is they have the constitutional right to the equal protection and the equal benefit of the law. And they need to exercise that right day in and day out without fear, without hesitation. Crar averages about 50 cases a year related to racial profiling, mostly dealing with police, on a steady increase in the last couple of years. They stop somebody driving a car, driving while black. First question most of the time is asked, does the car belong to you? If, you, if, you, if you're driving a car, the car may be six, seven years old, but it is a, 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 a brand name car. Okay, you're talking about a luxury car. Does that belong to you? It appears to be natural to give different treatment to whatever is not white. And then it is a continuous and even daily work to be added every day in order to, to bring people to the realization that things have to change. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.